All right, here we go again. Hello, everyone, and welcome through the misadventures of our last summer in space to the full release version of Subnautica, which is currently on fire in my little escape pod. So let's just go ahead and take care of that right now. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Don't mind if I do. I may not remember much, but I can at least try to keep myself alive. Oh, here we go. All right, booting in emergency mode. <sighs> this is it, I'm so excited. So last summer, we dove into summer in space and went on many adventures through the galaxy of games, enjoying, do you like those puns as my poor little voice log? World. Please refer to the databank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Well, thank you. Thank you, little little PDA thing. I am trying to give a dramatic speech here. But all right, welcome. We are back in Subnautica. And yes, this is a brand new start because it is a brand new summer in space. Hello, my awesome alien friend. Come back here. I want to check you out, buddy. Oh, gosh. All right, there's the ship. She is way too quiet. All right, give me just a second. We're going to make sure that we can actually hear her. There we go. Zero human life. Signs detected. So it looks like that's the same. Still no other survivors around us, but I wonder how much is different down in that beautiful ocean below us. And hey, buddies. Oh, they're so amazing. And the sun looks like it's... Ah, that's right. It was the moon that was so close before. But yes, we did play the Subnautica beta version, and we actually did quite a bit. We began to dive deep into the mushroom forest when many updates and a crash landing happened. I had spent the entire summer that we were playing Subnautica last time in Taiwan. Being there with my beloved, we had a great time. But the result is, when I came back... Somehow, the save files and all of our adventures that we had gone on were lost. So we're beginning anew, but I think it's going to be awesome. And you guys are actually going to have a chance to control how often we're here on this world and a lot of what we do. So be sure to listen carefully for some big announcements that will be coming up on our channel about that. But all right, time to get into the flow of things. Let's see, exit the escape pod, fabricator, no resources, got to fix this. All right, got to find the repair tool. Let's do this. All right, uh, I've got the flares. I've got the filtered water. That's not quite what I'm looking for. The med kit, I'm going to go ahead and grab that really quickly. Uh, where did I put uh, the damaged radio repair tool, repair tool? Where on earth did I put the repair tool? I could have sworn resources, electronics. Ah, that's going to be off. Why did I forget this most basic thing? Is it going to be somewhere around here? Yeah, this is the storage crate. <laughs> all right, all right. I cannot believe that I'm already tripping over myself. All right, repair tool, repair tool, repair tool. All right, silicon rubber, cadmium sulfur. We need titanium. Yes, all of that, all of that. I could have sworn that I would have... I mean, what kind of exit pod doesn't have more than your basics in here? All right, nutrient block and filtered water. Huh. All right, couple flares. Good for certain predators. Beacon manager. All right. All right, all right. Uh, I might as well have started anew. I can hardly remember anything, but that's just going to add to the challenge of it. So let's see. Fabricator. Repair tool needed. Repair tool needed. I have a flare. Oh, there we go. Wait, this is my... <laughs> that is the emergency. Uh, yeah, that's definitely... That's, that's not going to work. All right, come on. I could have sworn... Did I leave it somewhere? I can't believe I've already messed up remembering. All right, well, let's climb out of here. I wonder if I can dump, jump into the water and start gathering things, but that's not gonna help me if I don't have my repair tool. Ugh. Ah, well. All right, let's see what I can do. So I've got blueprints for a ladder. Ah, the fabricator. Maybe I can make a new one, but that's for in, uh, internal modules. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Well, we're going to have to see what I can do. A scanner needs battery and titanium. I can't remember anything about how I can manage all this, but maybe a wiring kit. Uh, is something giggling at me? Huh. All right.
right. Well, let's dive into the water and just start there, I guess. Oh, check them out. Oh, it's been way too long since I've seen these guys. Oh, it's all just so beautiful here. Why did I stay away so long? I can't even remember. Ah, oh, there we go. There's some limestone. All right, got a little bit of that. Let's swim up to the top. Oh, this is beautiful. I honestly, come here, little one. How about I just gotcha? All right, got the peeper. Good, with those big old eyes. But yes, so it has been so long, I actually don't even remember what I should be doing. So it may be a minute or two of kind of digging around, trying to figure out where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I'm collecting. But I really love that. And that's actually going to be the big brunt of what we do on our adventures in Subnautica. Let's see, maybe I can find some other materials really quickly. And up. Uh, there's one of my favorites, the bladderfish. Gotcha, buddy. <sighs> alien life forms have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a adaptive technology. Hey, come back here. Oh. Okay, gotta keep an eye on my air. And there we go. Like a little dolphin in and out of the water. Aha, more limestone. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely but plausible. Oh, there's one of the big guys! Whoa, and what is that in the distance there? What is that? I don't remember that. Is it just a rock? That doesn't look good. Does it have a whole bunch of eggs on it? Oh, that's so amazing! All right! I should probably be a little bit more worried about being stranded on an alien planet with literally no memory of what I would have done in a previous life to somehow survive. But for now, we're just gonna make use of what we do have. Uh, oh, there we go, another chunk of limestone. We'll gather a few of these. I think there's another chunk right here. Copper right there. All right, let's swim back to the little, the little uh, escape pod and see what I can do. Alright, so I've got a little bit of food, I've got a little bit of water, I have no way to cook any of it just yet. I need to use the fabric- Aha! There we go! That's more like it. I just needed to have the resources before I could use the fabricator. Well, now I feel silly. That's just so obvious, right? Uh, Alright, so let's see. Standard O2 tank, tools. I need a battery and titanium. And to make the battery, right there. Nice! That's much better. All right, and that would make my scanner. So let's go ahead and make the scanner now so I can start scanning things. Fantastic, and let's make a cooked peeper. Sorry, little guy, you're so cute. All right, and we could cook the bladder fish, but I would rather make some filtered water out of them. Nice, and hopefully I won't use up too much of the power. Ugh. I can't remember how to really make that refuel itself. All right. Let's organize my inventory really quickly. We have the metal that I have salvaged. Uh, I don't think I can break that down just yet. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The titanium. Hmm. All right. We'll go ahead and break it down really quickly. There we go. All right. So maybe we're not doomed to immediately die out here in the middle of nowhere. Good. <laughs> that makes me feel a little bit better about everything. Oh, there's still so much that I need to do in order to start making it through though. All right, cave sulfur and silicon rubber. And in order to get the silicon rubber, it's so dark in here. Ah, the creep vine seed clusters. All right, so this is still going to be a challenge. Oh, and I need to eat something. Thank you, helpful growling of my stomach. All right, there's that. Consumed a little of that, drink some water. Probably need to find some more fish pretty soon. And let's see, got the first aid kit for emergencies. I, I didn't mean to drink that water, fooey. All right, we'll leave one nutrient block in here for an emergency. And I'll leave the titanium in here so it doesn't really weigh me down. There, and I have my scanner so we can start scanning some of the different alien creatures and life forms here uh, and figuring out what we need to do. But in case you guys are new and you are wondering just how things work, well, um, I definitely happen to be more of a exobiologist, a xenobiologist, you might say, when it comes to exploring around the world. So I'm not really one to just sit inside and wait for things to happen. 
I want to discover the beauty of this planet and because I love studying all life forms, even the kinds that probably want to eat me. All right, come here, you. Come here, buddy. If only I could swim faster. I need to make some fins as soon as I can. Come on, come on. There we go. All right, so now we've scanned the rabbit ray and I'm creeping myself out because I can't see a thing. All right, let's climb back in here. And so my first order of business is probably gonna to wanna to be getting more food. Ah, there we go. Air bladder, emergency flotation device. And that's what we can use if we really need to. Ah, I definitely need a survival knife and a flashlight would be fantastic. So we'll work on those as well, as well as a habitat builder, because that would give us our own little pod, kind of like some sort of space sea turtle that I could watch this ship possibly blow up from, but also give me some safety because I really hate it when it gets so dark at night eventually I would love to be able to make a bed so we could just sleep through all this but uh, I, I can't scan those guys from here I wish they would come closer oh look at the moon detecting increased local radiation uh, levels uh oh Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during ah uh, yeah the radiation's increasing on the Aurora uh, but I know many of you know all of the secrets of Subnautica and have been playing for so long but for me, let's just say that fall damaged my memory a little bit. and I don't really remember what I had been doing last time or what it would take to survive here. So if you guys can just be patient with me. If I don't seem to respond to a lot of your comments or promptings or ideas on what I should do next, remember I like to explore at my own pace and I know there's a little bit of a story and a mystery that could unfold in front of us and I, I want to find it out for myself. But don't worry, the mods will be patrolling the comments for any really useful suggestions. And until then, I'm just going to have to get brave and hope that I don't die <laughs> while we try to collect some things. So let's see what should be next. Probably, even though I want an aquarium so that I can continue my job as a xenobiologist studying alien life forms here, uh, I do think it'd be a good idea to get that flashlight and repair tool especially going. So it looks like we need some creeper vine clusters and to dive into some of the small caves that are around here in search of cave sulfur, but probably some survival knife to protect myself is the best idea. All right, let's see what we've learned about one of the indigenous life forms on this planet so far, though. The rabbit ray. An herbivorous aquatic life form, rabbit rays appear to live serene and solitary lives with few predators, a natural sense of curiosity, and awesomely poisonous flesh. So don't eat them. Ears. Twin orange app appendages move on the head sense vibration in the water. Okay, so this is the ears that actually give the rabbit rays the ability to sense vibrations. And they swim along using their undulating wings, uh, undulating even wings, let's see. Evidence indicates its large side-facing eyes are relatively recent adaptations. It's likely they are related to the ray species in other environmental biomes on the planet. Oh, we're going to have to definitely check out those other biomes. All right. Eh, there we go. All right. So let's see what we can do. I don't want to be stuck here forever. <gasps> right on top of a rabbit ray. <laughs> Give me a little heart attack, why don't you, buddy? Oh, he's eating somebody. Did you see that? That was so interesting. I really hope I don't get eaten in two seconds. Okay, I kind of want to turn around. <laughs> About face, I would like to return to my, my emergency pod now. But might as well scan what I can really quickly. All right, what about these withering weeds and the acid mushrooms? There's so much to learn from here. What about those little tiny things? I don't think I can get a good lock on them. They're just a little too small. Woo! Oh, wait, is the sun rising yet? Ah, just have to be patient. I can't see a thing. Ah, there we go. Now I might finally be able to get something done with the sun coming up. All right, next order of business, gathering up some creeper vine pods. I don't have all of my memories from our last adventures here, but I can remember at least a few details like that. All right, let's try not to get myself eaten while we run for it, right? And it looks like the rabbit rays are very busy chasing down those boomerang fish. In fact, let's see if we can possibly get close enough. Uh, almost. Come on, little buddy. Ah, dang it. 
All right, so the boomerang managed to get away. Ah, oh, but this is a cave. Why, hello. No, before I go in caves, I probably need to make sure that I have some sort of defensive tool. So let's find some creeper vine pods first. And those look like they fit the bill. Now to not get eaten while we get over there. Hey, peeper fish. I need you for food. Okay, platter fish. There we go. I don't know about this. Ugh. The first swim out there is always the hardest. And I don't see any of the creeper vine pods glowing for me, which is going to make this really spooky. Oh, all right, let's do this. Come on. Come on. Dang it, there's no pods nearby. Oh man. No pods nearby, and I'm gonna have to swim deeper in to be able to go and find anything. Oh, this is this is tense. Okay. We'll follow where this guy is going. Come on. This is gonna be tight. Why can't there be any pods closer? Why do they have to be so far away? Okay, up, 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 up. Okay, I can go deeper, but I just need to be careful. And it looks like the closest creeper vine pod is gonna be right down here. Just have to grab it and run. Grab it and run. Grab it and then run. Come on. Come on. Ah, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, quickly, come on. Stop trying to scan the creeper vine and grab the pod, please. Okay, come on. And diverse ecological biomes. Further study Do I have enough? Here. That's right, get all of them. I don't want to have to come back here any sooner than I need to. Okay, inventory full. Oh, am I going to die? Go, 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 go. Come on. You've got it, you've got it, you've got it. We're so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, geez, Louise. All right, and now back as quickly as I can <laughs> to our safe haven. I really hope nothing is coming down to eat me right about now. You know what? We're just going to find out. It's just going to be a surprise. We're just going to swim in a straight little line. <laughs> oh, I forgot how absolutely exhausting and nerve-wracking and everything the adventures here could be, but... Well, that's the risk you take for adventure, I guess. Oh my gosh. Whew. All right. In we go. All right, let's get this done. Resources. Let's get the silicon made. There we go. And then let's grab the titanium out of our storage container. Look at all those creeper pod clusters. No wonder I wasn't able to do anything. Jeez. I didn't know they took up... Whoa, not the lubricant. I didn't know they took up so much room. All right, we'll make a few more. There we go. And then let's see. Ah, oh, there we are, survival knife. That can be our first thing. All right, there we go. A little bit of defense to keep us alive here. That's really gonna help. And then, that's right. So there's no blueprints to help us out other than the ones that we just made. Other than this, for weapons, other than a survival knife. That's the only weapon that we get because that's the way that our home world was. So, whew, all right. And let's actually go ahead and turn the bladderfish into filtered water. All right. And the only other thing I really want to try doing right now is seeing if I can find a little bit more food before the sun sets. Why, hello there, whole fish. Well, that was useful. All right. Oh, and here's a whole bunch of peepers. It looks like they're being chased by this rabbit ray. Ah, oh, they're so beautiful. And what are you? New a little Gary fish. That's so fine. And then I think if I come down here, there we are. I can gather up some of the coral tube samples. So we're getting somewhere, that's for sure. Let's scan this. There we go. All right, oxygen. Uh, and I'm running low on oxygen yet again. All right, well, we'll have to do something about that, but we are alive and we are back on this alien world. After being away 
for so long, but we will be returning to our summer in space again for another year of adventuring across many of the different kinds of space games that we have and many of the worlds that we have discovered in the past, as well as looking at some new worlds that uh, might be ripe for adventure. And if you guys have enjoyed and want to continue enjoying searching these seas with me once more, or some of the amazing planets that might provide adventures in other series, then keep an eye out, you guys, because our summer in space is just beginning. And this time, you guys are actually going to decide which alien worlds we explore. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.